Lori Lightfoot, the mayor, who supported defunding police, that she showed up at the hospital. We had the picture of all the officers turning their back on her, and we heard that you had words with her. What did you say? What was your message? Uh, my message was twofold. One as a father and one as a officer. My son had made it clear to me, and other officers had over the past few months, how they were being uh, diminished in their ability to do their job and not only effectively to perform it uh, in matters of uh, uh, regular procedures, but compromising their safety, uh, uh, their ineffectiveness. They do catch offenders. My son would complain he gets the same offender, offender twice in one week with the gun and not understand how this offender could be out. Now, as you mentioned, I did say things to Lori Leifert. My son was not a fan of her, as many police officers aren't, because they don't feel the backing, the sincere backing. There's one thing to say we support our men in blue for their sacrifices, but it seems lackluster, uh, not really from the heart. And the people pick up on that. Okay. Thank you. for your support and your donations and your prayers. I love you all. To my son, CJ, and my wife, Brenda, I do this up for you. WGN-TV Emerson College poll finds that crime remains the number one topic on people's minds in Chicago, and the survey shows some trouble for two local politicians. Mayor Lightfoot's approval rating has fallen to 42.5%, with 45.9% of respondents disapproving of the job that she's doing. That's a shift from the start of the summer, when the mayor's approval rating was at 48%. Also underwater, but by a much wider margin, Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox, just one in three votes. 34.7% approve of the job she's doing, while almost half disapprove. WGN's political reporter Taman Bradley has a closer look at those results. With shootings in Chicago on the rise, residents are taking notice. 62% of respondents say there is more crime now than there was a year ago. It's residents' number one issue. 44.2% of those asked their top concern chose crime. That's more than three times the next closest issue, COVID-19. Juliet Sorensen is a Northwestern law professor and former federal prosecutor. There have been anti-violence efforts. There have also been highly publicized incidents of violence, um, highly publicized incidents of violence against ordinary citizens and also incidents of violence against law enforcement themselves. As leaders look to stop a rise in carjackings, 47% of residents say they are greatly concerned about the issue, while 31% say they are concerned a fair amount. Chris Patterson is chief program officer for Friends of the Children of Chicago, an organization that provides paid mentors to young children. Chicago is facing unprecedented challenges like never before. You know, when I think about our young people and, and the fact that they've got their kind of free time to spend doing carjackings, I want to figure out, like, how, where are some alternative means in which we can keep them busy? Residents split on who should take responsibility for solving Chicago's violence problem. 36.5% of respondents said CPD is responsible, with the mayor following at 26% and the Cook County State's attorney close behind at 22%. Chicago residents who were polled are divided over media coverage of crime. 36.6% say the news media overemphasizes, 31.5% say the media underemphasizes, and 31.9% say the press plays the right amount of emphasis on the issue. In an issue city leaders have been debating this year, residents side with the mayor and police superintendent David Brown, who argue the court system is releasing too many violent criminals. Asked if they believe some individuals charged with gun crimes should be released on electronic monitoring while awaiting trial, an overwhelming majority, 7 in 10, said no. 
State's Attorney Fox reacted to our poll in a statement. Right now, we need an all-hands-on-deck approach to tackle the rise in crime with smart, community-focused solutions, she said. And we need to stop oversimplifying the criminal justice system and critically examine all the factors influencing violence in our communities. This means not relying on data from a cherry-picked poll that only examines two actors in a broad system and who happen to be black women. There are signs residents' feelings about crime could have lasting consequences consequences. 65.2% of people say they would consider moving if Chicago's gun violence continues. In the wake of the shooting death of Chicago police officer Ella French, support for the police is growing. 70% of residents say they have at least a somewhat positive opinion of CPD. And you can find the full results of our poll on our website, WGNTV.com. In the newsroom, Tamon Bradley, 